we are going to discuss factory design pattern. This factory design pattern is falling under the category of creational design pattern. And in case of factory design pattern, the creation of the object will remain hidden from the developer. So here is the discussion for us. So factory design pattern is one of the most used design patterns in Java. This type of design pattern comes under the creational pattern as this pattern provides one of the best ways to create an object. In factory pattern, we create objects without exposing the creation logic to the client and refer to newly created object using a common interface. And that is the basic theme in factory design pattern. So let us go for one practical example where we will be showing you a Java code and Java application with the help of which this design pattern factory design pattern will be explained in more details. So here is the demonstration for you. So let us go for factory design pattern implementation and here we will be creating one interface. The name of the interface will be shape and we will be creating some concrete classes which will implement the shape interface. A factory class that is a shape factory will be defined as a next step. So factory pattern demo will be our demo class where this particular shape factory uh, will, be, will, uh, will be defining one object under it and it will pass the information whether circle, rectangle or square to shape factory to get the type of the object which will be required. So we shall go through five different steps. Step one. So at first we will be going to create one shape uh, dot java that is one interface and then step two create concrete classes implementing the same interface that is the rectangle dot java square dot java and circle dot java so there will be concrete classes implementing the shape interface and then we'll be going for create a factory to generate the object of concrete class based on the given information so depending upon the input argument the respective object will be created and use the factory to get the object of concrete class by passing an information such as the factory pattern demo dot java and we will be going for the verification of the output. So let us go through the steps at first. So here we are going for the steps. So at first we are having this shape dot java. So public interface shape and it is having only one method that is the draw. Next we are going for this concrete class so that is the public class uh, rectangle implements shape. So this particular shape is nothing but the interface which has got implemented uh, by the class rectangle. So this draw method is having its body. So that is the inside rectangle colon colon draw method. Similarly for the square also is, it is implementing the shape interface and draw method has been defined as it is on the screen. We are having the circle also. We have done the same thing that is circle is implementing the shape interface and the draw method has got its body. So now we are having this shape factory dot java. In case of shape factory dot java, we are having one method. No, the name of the method is get shape, and it is taking one string as input argument, and it is returning the shape object as output. So as that's why you have written this one is return argument is shape object. So when this input string that is a shape type is null, it will return null. But when the shape type dot equals ignore case circle. So it will be returning the circle class object in case of rectangle. If the input string is rectangle, then it will return the rectangle class object. So new rectangle constructor. And whenever we are, uh, we are passing this square as the input argument, so it is returning the square class object as output. Otherwise, it returns null otherwise. Okay, now we are going for this factory pattern demo dot Java. So in this factory pattern demo dot Java, we are defining shape factory object that is the shape factory is equal to new shape factory constructor. So shape shape one is equal to shape factory dot get shape circle. So you see here we are passing one the circle as a string as input argument and that's why it will create the circle class object as output and that is initializing this shape one. So when you are uh, writing this shape one dot draw method is getting initiated will be getting the required output. So now I'm just showing you the output here. So now it is printing the inside circle colon colon draw method. So that very method which was defined under the circle class is getting executed. But when you are passing this rectangle and we are writing this, we are calling this method draw that is a shape to dot draw. It is calling the draw method which was defined under the rectangle implementing class. 
and when you are passing this square as input argument then it is returning it is, it is just executing uh, the draw method which was defined under the square under this particular square dot java which is implementing the shape interface so in this way we are getting this record output so let me revise once again so this is my shape dot java that is one interface having one method without body uh, that is a draw method rectangle is one of the implemented classes implementing classes of the shape interface uh, square, square is another class implementing shape interface circle is another class implementing shape interface and the respective draw method is having the body accordingly shape factory is this one so it is just returning the shape object shape interface object as output it takes a string as input argument depending upon the string whatever we are passing the respective object will be returned so when when we are passing this circle as input argument string it is returning the circle class object as the return type so in case of rectangle new rectangle constructor in case of square we are having return new square constructor otherwise it will return null so in case of factory pattern demo dot java whenever we are calling we are, we are defining one shape one on uh, object under the shape interface and is equal to shape factory dot get shape circle so now when you are passing this circle then circle class object will instantiate this shape one this very object and that's why when shape one dot draw we are executing where it is printing that very draw method which was defined under the circle class so you're getting this output like this so let us go for the UML diagram here. So this is my shape and these are the implementing classes. We are having this shape factory here. We are having this shape factory which is having this method shape factory and this is a constructor. There is a get shape string. It returns a shape object as output. And this is our factory pattern demo. That is the testing class here. So where we are having this factory pattern demo, there is a constructor and the main function which is of the type static and public here. So this is the respective class diagram. So this is the respective class diagram we are getting and we are having these Java programs to implement the factory design pattern. Thanks for watching this video.